is an epic tale of three sisters that begins in the beautiful locales of Mount Abu. Bani, the eldest, goes about life with grace, solemnity and perseverance, while Pia takes to it with zest, zeal and an uncanny straightforwardness. Rano is cute and intelligent and provides the touch of soft submissiveness. There is something about these sisters that make them all seem as one, their unassailable love for each other. Their lives take a turn when their father, Nishikant Dikshit, unable to cope with the loss of his wife and their mother, leaves them with financial bankruptcy, emotional vacancy and future of admissal uncertainties. They leave their hometown and come to live with Jai Balia, their mother's old friend and confidant, and a millionaire with a huge industrial empire. Not surprisingly, the three innocent girls were lost in a sea of unknown waters. Made to stay in the outhouse, they were confronted with hostility, contempt and coldness in the Valia mansion. Jigyasa, Jay Valia's sister, hates their existence in the house. There are other characters here who thunder across the lives of the protagonists, raising dust and storm once too often. Aditya, Jigyasa's divorced husband, plays the mellow man with his mind and heart serving the right cause and people. Ranveer, Valia's nephew, buys his wits and loses every time in the corporate game. Sahil, his brother, is a soul lost to yuppism and party frolicking, often landing himself in trouble with family and friends. The sisters found a ray of hope in the presence of Pushkar, the prodigy of Jayavalya. Pushkar gave the girls the warmth of a friend to comfort them. Jayavalya stands tall as the patriarch of an intellectual bent and corporate dynamism. He means no nonsense and his class consciousness often shows a sympathy and humanism of latent quality and strong intent. The girls begin facing their ordeals at the Valyas. Life moves on only to bring them to a point where Jayavalya begins to like Pia. Pia, however, is in love with Pushkar. All are shocked when Pia shifts her affections midway for the rich and majestic Jayavalya. Pia agrees to marry Jay, but at the 11th hour, she elopes and marries Pushkar. On the wedding day, Jigyasa coaxes Bani to dress up as Pia and save the situation. But Jay grows furious as he lifts her veil and realizes that his bride is Bani and not Pia. He refuses to accept Bani, but on persuasion, he starts to understand her and begins to like her. Bani and Jay have two children, Atharva and Krishna. The family affairs take a major twist as Krishna and Atharva are kidnapped and are found dead. Jay holds Bani responsible for the mishap and this makes Bani leave the house. After leaving the house, Bani gives birth to Ganga. Rano marries Sahil, Jay's nephew, and they have a son called Varun. Later, when Sahil dies, Rano marries Ranveer, Sahil's older brother. Ranveer and Rano separate as Ranveer's ex-wife, Rashi, comes back from a coma and Ranveer has to go back to her. Rano makes Ranveer accept Rashi back as his wife. Rashi and Ranveer have a daughter, Vidya. Jay now marries Meera, who adopts Bani's daughter Ganga for her better future. With time, the problems between Bani and Jay get sorted and Meera starts hating Bani. Jay and Bani have a daughter whom they name Krishna. Meera pretends to be Bani's well-wisher and one day she decides to kill Bani and get Jay back in her life. She burns Bani alive. Everyone assumes that Bani is dead. But Bani is saved by a man named Partho. Bani now has a new name, Pronita and also a new face. Bani has no memory of her past. 16 years pass by. Ganga and Vidya are about 22 years and Krishna is about 16 years old. Ganga is a good painter, just like Bani. Krishna grows to be a fancy girl like Pia. And Vidya is a bookworm like Aunt Rano. When Pronita gets her memory back, she remembers how Meera tried to kill her. She also remembers her children. She swears to show Meera's true colours to the world and gets help from Jigyasa. Jigyasa agrees to help Pranita as she has her own agenda. She wants to destroy both Bani and Meera. After they overpower Meera, Jigyasa returns to her original animosity and informs Bani that she will not prove the fact to the family that Pranita is Bani. The family still believes that Bani is dead. Soon Bani seeks aid from Pia, Pushkar and Rana 
and Jigyasa bites the dust like Meera. And all know that Bani is back from the dead. Kasam Se is a matrix of events, personalities, propensities and a lot more woven into a tale of stupendous drama, of timeless emotions and sublime truths. Kasam Se.